So to answer this question, we need uh, two important uh, properties. So these properties are limit as x approaches zero over sine x over x is equal to one, okay? And also another one, so this is a property number one, which we need. Another one is a limit as x approaches zero of one minus cos x over x is equal to zero. So these are important, important limits we need. So what we're going to do is we'll say limit as x approaches zero. This will change it, okay? It's the same as this sine x over cos x. So tan x is the same as what I've just written over x, this x. So here it will be equal to limit as x approaches zero, okay? So this will be equal to sine x over x cos x because we're dividing this okay so when you're dividing this is the same as this also now at this point we can say limit as x approaches zero of sine x over x okay we'll separate them since we are multiplying this will be alone and uh, here we have uh, this Hopefully it makes sense. So what I've just done here is uh, to just separate. Since it's a multiplication, this will move with the one. It's a one on top, just like that. All right, so now at this point, we can use the property, this property over here. It's working here. So we know that uh, limit as x approaches zero of sine x over x put it here multiply by limit as x approaches zero over one over cos x okay so I'm, I'm just separating this moves alone and this also and there is a multiplication that's why i've applied the brackets so this this here will just give us a one okay so it's a one so we remain with the what is the here we remain with this this is just one following this property what this property says so here if we put now a zero here this zero we put it here so what is cos zero so cos zero is one there's a one on top so one divided by one if you just give us a one so this is a, our solution thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel